Right, now part two, we're looking forward. Um, mm. Well, we have talked about COVID, but really the thing is TT. I mean, I know you're not going to tell me much today, but everyone's asking, mm. aren't they? I mean, it's constantly on everyone's mind because at some point a decision has to be made. You'll be mm. doing that. I mean, you and Komen will have that power and the decision to say mm. yes or no, which I, I think most people at the minute will probably say it's going to be no, but well, over to you. What can you tell yeah, us? Yeah, well, I, I can't tell you anything more than what you probably just said, but <laughs> what I will say is uh, undoubtedly uh, it's on our minds. Uh, we are considering all options uh, for that, and uh, what we do know is we do need to make a decision earlier than what we did last last this year, should I say. Sure. Uh, I and mean, you can, technically, you could wait until March, but I don't believe that's in the best interest of the TT accommodation providers and all the stakeholders. So when? Um, we will make that decision before the end of the end of the year. Right. So, so yeah. we've got a couple of months. Well, two and a half months. We, we we do, but you know the department needs to play out all the potential uh, scenarios and options, and and uh, then engage with stakeholders before going through department council ministers. And if it's pulled this early, is there less cost? compared with last year then of cancelling so late? Well, it's about planning, putting certainty, you know, yeah. uh, it's, it's like any business decision. Uh, what, what, what businesses want is certainty, so the sooner you can make a decision, the better off you are. And I, it's funny because I do, when I reflect back to when we made that decision, painful decision as it was, at the time, the UK went ahead with the uh, Cheltenham horse races, if oh. we may recall, and uh, there was, it was the argument, well, if they're doing that, why can't we do the TT? It's months later. Mm -hmm. So we made that decision at that time which was a which was a judgment call but the right judgment I would suggest well we're keeping the TT are we long term in your head I mean it's, that's for me I'm absolutely committed to the TT it's not just what it does to the economy here on the Isle of Man it's part of who we are you know mm. it's part of our heritage so that's really important what's the latest with the scoreboard is it, it's going isn't it yes uh, unfortunately it's time spent it's not in, in good shape uh, I'm afraid and uh, the um, Department of Infrastructure had plans to relay Glen Crutch Road. So when they do that, they'd have to remove it. Mm -hmm. So subsequently, we will need to uh, look at uh, some sort of uh, temporary measure initially, um, subject to TT happening next year. Okay. Well, we'll come back to that one, no doubt. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. What else you got? Uh, I mean, you know, anything particularly you want to push through, Tim, more than this last uh, session? Well, we've uh, it, the, the focus now is the economy. So I guess that back to what uh, we do and Treasury do, working very closely with Alf Cannon, Treasury Minister, and his team. So this is all about the economic recovery group. We have uh, very intense, regular meetings, looking at all kinds of things. We're looking at uh, particularly stimulus at the moment because we're going into the winter months when uh, times, you know, people tend to hunker down a little bit and uh, subsequently we need to make sure that economy continues to uh, to, to move forward positively. And they're, they're throwing some cash into you aren't they to, to get the economy going? They're looking to you, is it this, this is your, the powerhouse Co end of it? Well collectively that's the economic recovery group, there's a hundred million there set aside. In many ways uh, the, the success of that might be how much we don't spend rather than how much we do spend and uh, you know so far as I say a lot of industry are performing quite well and uh, you know we've got to measure that with what is that pent-up demand people can't travel etc and uh, where we're going to be in, in a few months time which we can't be too complacent. What's your feeling on the lockdown <coughs> by the way because obviously mm. again uh, there's this big question mark about key workers can come in or be mm. whatever you call key worker these days <laughs> but uh, you've got people who have not got the max qualification who would be quite prepared to do the full 14 days, they'd probably be the ones that would really be, you know, to get in, they'd be so grateful, I'm sure they'd yeah. do everything exactly right, yet they can't get in, and these are people who might be buying houses or doing things yeah. or putting money in the economy. Well, we, 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 that is our challenge, definitely, there's no doubt about it, and uh, subsequently, it's, it's obviously linked to the whole border situation, and uh, what, we, what we try to do is uh, be very careful to make uh, very clear, decisive decisions, um, so as we don't do this flip-flop and back and forth because uh, you know first of all in my space the economy is going to be damaged uh, severely um, so we, we, we're obviously monitoring things very closely what's happening across and keen that we do make changes but we make them at the right time. Come on now. tell me what's it like in Komen how robust <laughs> is it of I mean, no one can tell me everyone's agreeing everything okay it's held it's done by majority hmm. we keep hearing hmm. that but it, it must be quite um, Challenging, quite feisty. 
sometimes some of these decisions? Yeah, th from time to time, of course there is. And uh, you know, you've got a difference. You've got, basically, you've got nine independents there who are trying to come up with a consensus view. Uh, we have, uh, and I, I will say this, we've we got some great um, team in terms of supporting us. Everything from uh, each department's executive to sometimes external attorney generals and, and so forth. So you, you, you have to analyze as much of that information as you possibly can, come up with a view that you feel it is in the best interest of the Isle of Man. And I think that once we set out those principles, and it goes back to that protection of life, preservation of life, uh, critical infrastructure, maintain that critical infrastructure, and then of course the economy. So that was at a massive, massive cost, Paul. So, you know, I think we realise that, you know, obviously you get the nuances w within all that and the detail, which, you know, does, you know, cause issue because you don't get everything right all the time and you, when you have to make very difficult rush decisions, you know, yeah. we, we, we respect that. And we've made various changes to legislation as a result. To finish with, I want to talk about you. Yeah, this is the second full term, right? Isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's yeah, right. right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that'll be the ten years. Um, mm. um, your thoughts going forward. Well, um, my thoughts going forward are purely just to focus on the job at hand. Uh, as we as about, we highlight, are you going to stand or without you obviously <laughs> announcing it because you get all this, you know, well? Are you how are you feeling? Well, well, I'm feeling great to be quite honest with you. Right. Yeah, very happy, content where I am. Um, and in terms of when I stand, I mean, make a statement at the moment, all I'd say is just tread a lure. There's plenty of time for that. You see, I hear your name coming up for speaker. Quite a bit. For speaker, yeah, all right. Unless Chief Ooh. Minister, is I don't well. know. But knows, yeah. people think you know you've got somewhere to go. Mm. Uh, you must be flattered when you hear that. Or, uh, but do you do you, do you feel that is something you would like without you know in a hypothetical yeah. world? You know, uh, well, yeah, it's very difficult in a hypothetical world. Um, all I would say, Paul, is you know just uh, try to lure time enough to make a decision on a if I'm going to stand and uh, b what what I might do. And if you changed wanted any other department, where would you want to go? Well, I've been very, very fortunate, I think, to do the job that I've done for all this time in, in, in politics. And uh, yes, you're right, it's coming up to 10 years in total, which is quite a long time in politics, I think, terms. So, uh, you know, I like to feel that, you know, have achieved. And uh, regardless of where I go, or what I do, you know, next year, I, I like to think that, you know, I have achieved in the department for enterprise. And it is not just fit for purpose, but fit for the future. And when you've had some sort of spectacular fails, I mean, how do you mm -hmm. come back from that? I mean, not you, mm -hmm. is it you personally? I don't. Do you, do you feel take responsibility when things have gone? Well, I, the I, 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 you know, you, you are the department, so you obviously do take it personally. Um, of, you always have a team, and you try and be democratic about it. You know, so you have all your members support you, and council support you, Tim will support you, and then still things can fall over, which is uh, you know can happen from time to time. But that is politics again, and that should be <coughs> positive as well, by the way. So when things Ooh. are right. Uh, what is it? One big achievement you can you can put your finger on? I, I, I would always put it down to the aggregate. Uh, you look at the aggregate position. So what was what was the other man's in my case the economy? What was the economy like when it stepped in? What's the economy like when I leave? How do you think you did then uh, out of ten over the last year? Um, well, dominated by COVID and obviously connected to the government team, i.e. Uh, Council of Ministers, I would say... Uh, this is for you. Very, well, I, I would put I'm going it, to do the government You can do them both. And I would, I would say you. both uh, a yep. solid eight. Oh, eight and both. eight. Yeah, very okay. solid. And you know, here mm. we go. You know, we're not out of it, which is almost like no. half of things. I think people are just mm. getting to very, very used to the little world we have here. Mm. Is this a major concern for us? Yeah, you're talking about the bubble that we're, 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 we're yeah. living in. Can, can it can it maintain in this uh, in this position? Probably not. And you know, we're already seeing a few cases uh, come in. And you know, it's interesting to note where they're featuring in terms of news. You know, not lasting very long because they are contained. We are better prepared. You know, we've uh, in, in a stronger position than we were six plus months ago when of course we're all in great fear mm -hmm. so so uh, you know it, all I can say is you know we're, we're in a, a reasonably good position particularly uh, in managing this uh, whole situation but we cannot cannot be complacent from a health perspective nor an economic perspective have you seen this V though as everyone's talking <coughs> about you know, the dip and then this 
Massive, yeah. Have we done that here? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, they talk, talk, there was a lot of those around, wasn't there? There was a V, then there's a U, yeah. and a long U. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and to be honest with you, here on the island, we're always a very different, aren't we, when we look at and analyse these. And, 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 and again, you know, what we try and do is we monitor everything we can. We've got the health monitoring, which is obviously on island and off island. And then secondly, we've got the economic monitoring, and that's why this economic recovery group and really what we learned through COVID where we managed Managed as a government, you know, to and Tim will support to to make quick decisions, you know, that is in, in the benefit for our well-being. This is now about our economic well-being, and this economic recovery group is working on that same principle.